2019 World Open Championship bronze medalist, Olympic Games gold medal prospect. Tonight, he tries to make history. Tonight, he makes his much anticipated professional debut. He is the challenger. His opponent standing across in the red corner. Weighed in officially 106.3 kilos. From the Fortitude Valley Boxing Gym, trained under the tutelage of Steve Della and Luke Meldon. 15 professional fights, 13 wins, one draw, and just the one loss. Tonight, he is the reigning, defending Australian heavyweight champion. The Philip Holiday. Gentlemen, I've been giving instructions in the change room and to obey my commands at all time. I just have a clean fight. There's some eating on the line here, I'm gonna let it go, okay? Good luck to both of you. Touch gloves. Okay. Well, here we go. Is this too much too soon? Or is that man Justice Hooney the heavyweight we've been waiting for? Let's find out. Hooney. Oh, oh, wow. Ducks under a big one from Opalu. <laughs> Opalu's wasting no time. Hooney picks him off with a nice little left hand. The much bigger man in the red trunks punching down on the Australian champion who comes towards him. The left hook of Hooney gets through. He goes to the body of Opalu who's pushing forward again. Yeah, great work from Hooney early. Just touching him to the body, touching him to the head. And Opalu giving him absolutely no space. That's their strategy, obviously. He was always going to push forward Opalu. Maybe we didn't expect him to launch like that in the opening seconds. But Justice Hooney was awake to it in his pro debut. And he'll get back in this comfortable stance. And those hands are significantly higher as a pro. Absolutely. He got the rude awakening through his hands right up next to his, next to his temples. And he's going to need him in this fight. And you can see as he jabs, they are lightning hands. Beautiful. Django comes forward. But Cooney, it is responding. Watch your head. Watch your head. Punch out, guys. Punch out. Yeah, I'm surprised the, of the composure of Cooney. He's been very, very composed. You've got to be. You know, now you've got a number of rounds instead of just two or three, you're up to ten. Just ripping to the body there was Hooney with the left hand, and Opalu felt that, and he goes there again. Now the right hand. Just watching. There's Hooney, waiting for an opening. He was saying in the lead up to this fight, what gave him the most confidence oh, is nice right hand. the number of rounds that sparred, and he says, but he generally does things like that. A lightning fast right hand that got through on Opolu. Yeah, beautiful work. Beautiful work. Oh, nice one too again. He's using his height and his range very, very well. He's got great boxing fundamentals and he's making them all work for him right here, right now. Those quick right hands are getting through. And there's 45 seconds left in this opening round. Opolu pushing forward, but... The left hand just drifting down. That's right, Opalu's waiting now. He's a bit more cautious when he goes into Huni now. Because he's taking them shots, the hard shots when he's gone in the last time. There you go, we're gonna see the Huni working off the jab. Opalu coming on the inside, down the bottom. Just taking away that reach, which is exactly what he's gotta do if he wants success. Opalu trying to work inside, but at this range, he's right on the end of those shots from Justice Hooney. Yeah, nice right hand. And it's a very classy first professional round for the heavyweight Hooney. Here's the highlights of the opener. Yeah, nice left hook to the head, left hook to the body from Hooney, nice counter right hand, slip right hand, which you would have been practicing in the gym. There you go, trying to work through the combinations of body and head. He's given everything he's got 
Well, I want you to do is showcase your skills, mate. I don't see the feet yeah. moving. Get your moving, mate. Suck a remembrance of it. All right? That's all. Right away. He's counted you a couple of times. That's good. Good. Recover, mate. Tell me as soon as this over with it, you should be fully recovered, mate. All right, looking good, mate. Looking really, really good, mate. Some deep breaths in the corner for Hooney. But if there were nerves, and there must have been, we didn't see them. And let's see what happens in this second round. That lightning right hand was getting through on Opalu. <laughs> Yeah, it got through well. Um, who in his corner wants him to move his legs, but you know, he's fighting nerves. He's fighting all types of things now in this professional ring. But they're both looking very, very good. What do you want to see from Opolu, the champ? Well, he has to press the action more. He has to just be assertive and be first, uh, work the body, come up the middle, maybe throw a couple of uppercuts, which he hasn't done yet. And from Hooney, he's got to just keep doing what he's doing. Double tapping the, double tapping the jab on the outside throwing the one-twos and keeping his hands high. Smart, smart move. Jabbing well is Opalu and going to the body and oh, there's the right nice hand shot. from Hooney. Beautiful. He and presses forward again. Goes to the body and they exchange there and then there's an oh, uppercut from Hooney. There was the uppercut. Opalu showing some bravado but that hurt him. Yeah, he took a big shot. But Hoon is not overexerting himself. He's staying composed, which is great. Good work on the inside from Apolu. He's continually moving, continually working. Nice job. Hooney just relaxes here. Halfway through the round, looks for the uppercut. Just misses. Yeah, his hands are falling. He's put his hands down now. Maybe he's comfortable. And they're back up again. And they tangle here. Philip Holiday lets them work out of it. He digs to the body, does Hooney. Yeah, that inside work favours Opalu. Looks for that one shot again, does Hooney. And hooks in. Yeah, he's got to keep working on the outside, keep touching the jab, keep letting his opponent know he's there. Nice double left hook. Right hand as well. Hooney comes forward, digs in with the left hand and follows it with that right over the top that he likes. Yeah, lead right hand now. He's getting the confidence. Good work from the outside. Nice four-punch combination. Great combination punching from Hooney. The hook from Opolu is a good one. Yeah, he's caught Opalu some shots, but Opalu's never looked in trouble. He hasn't wobbled. He's taken big shots, but he hasn't wobbled yet. Hooney against the ropes. Now, Turn to South watching Port. from this southpaw stance. Two rounds down. And Opalu is working hard in this fight. What's his conditioning like? compared to the amateur star. Yeah, they're both working hard. You can see the nice right hand there from Hooney. Just keep it all. It was Hooney that took the uppercut there. <laughs> there you go, Apolu showing some bravado. Good action work from both guys. Really, really good and as we enjoy the action here, don't forget November 15, Terence Crawford, Kel Brook featuring that rematch for the world title between Joshua Franco and Australia's Andrew Maloney. That's on main event, November the 15th, a Sunday afternoon. Let's go, let's go. Ted, what do you want to see from the debutant Justice Hooney in this third round? Well, I want to see him switch back to orthodox because uh, it's been very successful for him. And from the orthodox stance, working nicely off the jab, keeping the long-range punches from the outside, the nice one-twos and the bodies were working really well for him. But that left, left hand, hand worked well through. too. Worked very well. We just looked down at the ground, did Opelou, as though he slipped, but it's certainly connected. Now he follows it up in this orthodox stance to Zhuni. 
And he's pressing forward now. Yeah, he's fighting well yeah, on the outside. And Opalu just slowing down ever so slightly by the looks of things. I'm surprised that the referees let him keep the armband on. Normally that's removed before the contest, contest starts. The jab from Hooney. The difference is if Opalu has been used to doing more rounds, he's just he's just getting warmed up. He'll keep going. Hopefully Hooney is in great shape to do the championship rounds. Back to Southpaw now is Hooney. Hooney looks to be taking a couple of deep breaths. Both fighters happy to have a little break here in round three. Plenty of action through the first two. Yeah, they both worked hard. And Hooney just looking to reassess himself. Hopefully he doesn't run out of ideas. He's just got to keep jabbing, keep staying with the basics, the fundamentals, working the hook off the jab. Solid jab there from Hooney. And again, Opalu pressing forward. Now he's where he wants to be, but he hangs on and punches with that free right hand. Philip Holiday says no. But that's what um, Opalu's got to do, give him some of that professionalism. Rough him up on the inside. Just keep hitting him, hurting him, touching him all the time. Nice shot. Right hand and a left trick from Hooney. Just misses with the big right hand down the middle. Hooney's putting a lot of effort into every single punch. He's got to learn that just the art of relaxing a little bit whilst he's still throwing them power shots. Well, that will be interesting if you can take this one deep, Opalu. Nice right hand. Slick right hand. That's his shot. Visibly deep breath from Hooney being taken. Happy to box on the outside with his hands down and using his big edge in reach. There you go, mate. the highlights from the previous, Ted. Yeah, you can see the double jabs, both jabs coming in from both guys and upper loop pushing whilst taking shots from the um, counter punching stance of um, Hooney. A couple of, triple stay of good rounds gone by. Stay there, stay there, stay there, push him back, he hates it. He hates it. He just keeps just doing his hand in no man's land. He's catching you, you know? He's waiting there too long. You feel all right? Nice and clear? A little bit of water on you? No. Yeah. Hey. Okay. need a fucking ball. Going good, going good. All right. Yeah, yeah, busy at this end. has never been too deep in a fight himself, generally because he knocks his opponents out pretty early. So mm. he's only been into round five at the furthest. Just as Hooney, well, he's never been anywhere as a pro. No, exactly. And if you if you think about it, this would now be the end of Hooney's regular fights. <laughs> so is, this is uncharted waters for him now. But let's see how he handles it. He's just got to stay composed, take his deep breaths, keep working off the jab. They both work to the body. Important to remember as well that, like you mentioned before the fight, most potential heavyweight stars will kick off with a four or six rounder against a journeyman, not a national title fight over ten. So, Justice Hooney has gone in at the deep end and he's going to have to work out of it because... Django Opalu is well and truly still there, and he's working hard as he takes a body shot from Hooney. Absolutely. Opalu is not here to lie down. He's really here to fight. Look at these guys. Good action inside from both guys. A lot more from Hooney, but both guys are working hard. Double nice left hook from Hooney. He was happy to exchange in close there for... A significant period, Hooney, as he takes a shot while he gives one. The second left hook he took, left uppercut. Now Opalu goes to work, but just lets him out. Chops 
tripling it up there was Hooney. And now he just hangs on. As Philip Holiday says, let's punch out of here, but they don't. Nice work. That is nice quality stuff from Justice Hooney. And a left hook to follow as well. To the body and upstairs. Opalu leaves himself open. Stop! Stop! See, Opalu's strategy is a professional. If you look at the way he's throwing his punches, he's, not, he's putting minimal energy into the punches right now. He's just buying time. He's letting the rounds go by. I think in the hope that Huni's going to run out of gas, that could be a strategy to just kind of pull him into deep waters. We'll see. Everything Huni's doing is with ferocious power, and that drains your energy like you wouldn't believe. Round four this is. Less than 30 seconds remaining. Some great combination punching in this round from Huni. But Opelou's had his moments too as he takes a right hand. He's taken a lot of shots, Opelou. Now he takes a few. And he stands and mocks his opponent. See, he's trying to get him emotionally. But Huna's got to keep punching. Good round. He took some shots, did Opelou. He called them on, but gee... How many does he want to take? I wanted the best way to go. Big round of action in Brisbane. Oh, major, major shots. As you can see, good way action there. Nice left uppercut from Apulu. And Huni's throwing them nice combinations, but they don't look to be hurting Apulu really seriously. Let's hope we can keep it up. This is Ben Kelleher. He fights in the main event against Jaya Fatira. Rematch for him. He broke his hand the first time around. That's our cruiserweight battle coming up next to close the show in Brisbane. But there's plenty more left in this one. Absolutely. Anything could happen. Justice Hooney in the red trunks. Vega Opalu, the Australian heavyweight champion in the black. Hooney looks for that right hand at range and Opalu comes inside, throws to the body. Yeah, great exchange of punches there, but Opalu's pressing him now. Opalu's confident to keep pushing in and pressing him. I think the objective surely is to make Hooney side and just keep the pressure, the heavy pressure on him. And there you can see. Good body shot from Opalu there. Dug in with the right hands and Try to do really trying to drag hmm. Huni into the fight. That's exactly what he's trying to do. Yes. But takes a couple of good punches for his time there. Huni just flat footed here on these ropes, waiting on his opponent to bring the action. See, the way Apollo is punching, it's almost a, 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 a conservation type style. He's not exerting too much energy, so I think he's going to explode soon. This round, next round, who knows? But it's just touching, just touching. There was a nice right hand from Apollo. Hooney punches to the body with his straight right hand, and Apollo presses forward again. Stop holding, Jango, stop holding, punching. And he does look tired, this Justice Hooney. He does look tired. Step back, guys. Okay. It's a different game, and I think there's a bit of blood coming from the nose of Hooney, too. There's some quality in his work, though, when he brings it. Yeah, it's got beautiful work, but, you know, boxing is a mixture of aerobic and anaerobic. You can't just keep... Big right hand from big Justice shots. Hooney. Great work. was a huge right hand from Hooney, but Opalu called him on. Took it well. He's waiting again is Hooney in this corner. Opalu working to the body. Not too much on these shots as you mentioned, Ted. Yeah, he's just touching. He's just staying relevant a little bit. I mean, 
<laughs> Hopefully he doesn't leave it too late and get knocked out by one of the big Huni shots, but I think you can kind of see his strategy, what he's trying to do. Huni visibly looks tired and is working much, much harder, throwing a lot more punches. Deeks into the body again, Huni. Nice right Slick hand. right hands. He's still got his wherewithal to do them kind of shots. That's good. Just wore that right hand to Opalu without even showing it. Yeah, nice. Big rounds. And now we're officially past the furthest that Django Opalu has been in a professional fight. Highlights of another fascinating round. Yeah, nice right hand from um, Opalu there on the side of Huna's chin. And obviously the receipt there with the same punch and double punches. So it's just a bravado. He's trying to get him mentally. He's trying to turn him down mentally, you know, by just showing that he's um, not being hurt. But he probably is. He's up and ready to go with Justice Hooney. Yeah, deep breath from Hooney right from the first second of this round. And Apollo's corner just wanting to carry on with doing what he's doing. Oh, nice left hook. Finishes his combinations with great shots Beautiful. every time does Hooney. If he can keep it up, this up, it's a it's a cakewalk for lack of a better phrase, but you know, it looks like he's getting a little bit tired. What have you got the scores as we speak? Ted, Justice Hooney looks to be winning these rounds. Yeah, I've got it as a shutout just as far as the scores are concerned. I've got it, you know, five rounds to zip, so 50 to 45. But some of those, those rounds have been competitive and he's taken some shots, but he's sneaked every single round just with his work rate and his workmanship throughout these, throughout these rounds. Maybe fatigue will be the concern if there are any for Justice Hooney. Well, if you posturing in the corner here. Exactly. If you look at the body language of... of oh, Big left hand. Did nice it wobble shot. Opalu for a moment? That one caught him. That one caught him good. Very accurate punching from Justice Hooney. I think he'll be happy if he can get him out of here. Big right hand again. Big shot. Opalu takes them so well. I think Apollo better put um, phase two of his strategy in place. Big uppercut with the right hand from Justice Hooney. He's having some very good moments in this sixth round. Great shots. Well, testament to his ring craftsmanship. That's Probably. great stuff from Hooney. Great variety, uppercuts, hooks, body, head. He's doing everything. He's looking really, really good. Maybe this is what you call a second win from Justice Hooney. It seems that way. But opalu has been consistent, just, just walking him down, just going through the motions, staying right there. Gives himself another breather, does Hooney, in the corner, just posturing and worrying him out of the action. Yeah, he's been allowed to take breathers when he wanted to, and it's, it's really helped Hooney. But I do like his style. I like he's working off the long range. It's working well for him. Good movement from Hooney as Opalu just follows him around now. Not looking to cut off the ring, just conceding large sections of this round. Yeah, Opalu works to the body 90% of that round. And he slumps down to Zopalu. Justice Hooney, more active in that round. And here's the highlights of it. Yeah, absolutely more active. Look at them shots coming in from the body to the head. Using a good variety of punches. There you go, the right uppercut. Left hook, try to turn him there and then grabbed him at the right time. Great action. 
This is Justice Hooney, and this is Jaya Pattaya, the world-ranked cruiserweight. He's up next. Getting a good sweat up. Getting ready to go in a rematch with Ben Kelleher. Ranked four in the world with the IBF. Has eyes on a world title eliminator very shortly. And a world title shot as soon as possible. Need that chair out of there. There it goes. And noticeably, Justice Hooney raced to centre ring here for round seven. Yeah, he'd be getting a lot of confidence now. It looked like he had a good second win in the last round. And if he can keep it up, then obviously his punch variation and his, the way he's working has is, been very, very successful. Opalu pushing forward with four arms and burrowing in. Uppercut was good from Hooney. Nice. That's exactly, that's exactly what Apollo's got to do. Just keep it active, keep it dirty, rough him around, let him know he's there, make him uncomfortable. But he actually needs to put more power on them shots now. Digging into the body with the left hand is Opalu. And now Hooney gets back to punching range, but he's happy to come inside and Great work. throw that combination that finishes with a big right hand and goes to the body with a left hand as Hooney and a right hand again. Yeah, punching it with great, great ferocity. Oh, great work. Great work. Opalu taking a lot of shots here. I think taking... Hooney working oh. hard and that's a big right hand. Taking more than he bargained for. The There's the towel. Comes in. There's the towel. And the journey has begun. Wow. Hooney, the heavyweight, is on his way. What a boxing performance we've seen from a man, remember, who was fighting the Australian heavyweight champion in his professional boxing debut. Wow. What an achievement. History has been made in Brisbane. And Justice Hooney had to work for it. He's got the Australian title and is the first ever to win it on debut at any weight. But the heavyweight has begun what could be a special journey. Yeah, I love his style. I love the way he fought in this fight. The only fear was that he might run out of steam. But even when he ran out of steam, he caught his breath well on the ropes. And as you can see, beautiful right hand. It was really the tail of the whole fight. He was working body and head. When he took shots, he didn't look hurt, so his chin looks to be sound. But punching in bunches, continually working, working off the jab, great ring generalship. Can't be faulted, really, for a debutante. Can't be faulted. We thought he was running out of puff there for a period, but, gee, second win came, and when it did, it was brutal. Round six was outstanding, and then he jogged to center ring for round seven and produced <laughs> the best action of the fight. Yeah, thank God for um, second win. You can see, obviously, that he's done his work in the gym because his energy came back. His, um, and look at this. Yeah, How good. How did he good not go it. down, yeah. Ted? Because he's super tough. He's just a super, super tough guy. And look but at him. Just, he just walks off. Django Opalu took massive shots from this much bigger man, yeah. but just wandered off after the towel came in, and they embrace yeah. the sparring partners. Great As the baton you. is passed, yeah. and we've got a new heavyweight champion in Australia. Brilliant. Great and stuff one to Steve watch. Keller. It was. Yeah, yeah. really is one to watch. Love his style. Very, very nice. He's done it. He's lived up to the hype. Let's make it official in Brisbane. Here is James O'Shea. Well, ladies and gentlemen, let's make this one official. We'll get our two fighters to centre ring. This one's sponsored by Samoa Airways. First of all, Brisbane, put your hands together for the two boys. What a contest. You are entertained. Well, ladies and gentlemen, the hype is reality. One minute, 21 of the seventh round. The red corner retires their fighter, your winner, by technical knockout, creating history on debut from the blue corner. He is the new Australian 